Welcome back guys, Trey Lowell here, and today's video, if you don't already know, is gonna be dedicated to a $17 miniature tripod from the guys over at Manfrotto. And one thing I've noticed right off the bat, this thing is well built, and it's pretty serious, and I think it might be a great item to add to your camera backpack coming up next. So when it comes to being a YouTuber, a vlogger, or overall just someone that loves cameras, tripods are gonna be absolutely essential when it comes to items that you need to have in your bag. And one thing that I've found over the years is that massive tripods sometimes don't come in handy, so I tended to lean towards the Joelby Gorillapod, which has been fantastic over the years, but I see more and more YouTubers using this miniature Manfrotto monopod, and for $17, I had to give it a test. So over the past few days, I've been goofing around with it and have been thoroughly impressed. Overall, this tripod is extremely simple. Pretty much, we're gonna have this guy right here, gonna screw into the bottom of our camera. We're gonna go ahead and extend out those legs, one, two, three, and then this little button right here, the logo, which is a great look by the way, serves as your rotating ball head. Simply put, put it down on the table and voila. Quick and easy to kind of pick up and go into vlog mode or set it down, back up and you're in vlog mode. But the one thing that I really want to give you guys an insight is how does it actually function? What would it look like with somebody like myself walking around vlogging so to be honest with you, there's no better way than to jump right outside. When you're vlogging, you don't always necessarily wanna be bam, right in the camera. And so at least like this, this allows me to kind of get some distance between myself and you guys behind the screen. Um, now, as you guys can see, I have this stupid thing on my head and it is really just to show you guys a glimpse of like how far I'm really holding my arm out here in regards to like distance goes. I feel like it's no more different than like what I would be doing if I were using my Gorilla Pod. So holding it out here, it's nice and small. We've got the 14 to 42 on the GH5. Super lightweight, like I said, with just the click of a button, I'm able to move that ball head and adjust kind of to where I want or what I kind of see as a flattering angle. Now, how stupid does this look? I want to hear comments in regards to that because I absolutely hate wearing these dumb things, but I thought it'd be a unique angle, like I said, so you guys can kind of see like exactly what I'm seeing from like a user perspective because that is really what I'm trying to figure out with this Manfrotto little mini tripod. I mean, it's all, it comes in under $20, so that's a nice little touch and then for instance, if I need to quickly drop it here on this stump that you guys should be able to see with the GoPro, what I'm trying to figure out is, is it able to manipulate enough to like be usable and be sturdy? And while my Joby would probably be a little bit more sturdy in this particular situation on this stump because I could wrap it around and kind of clump it in there, it would probably take longer. And from what I can tell, this Manfrotto is doing pretty solid. So. That's one thing you gotta take in consideration. What do you guys think? Feedback would be awesome, but from what I'm seeing, usability, it's pretty easy. And then I can just go grab it and push that little button in and we're ready to go again. We'll get in focus. There we go. And we're back in business. So that quick, just walk, drop, move the ball head, and you're pretty much good to go. I don't know if I would put any cameras any bigger than like a GH5, maybe a Sony a7 III, a7S II. If I did have like my Canon glass, I could see a situation where it was really front heavy and it would be pretty interesting to see how the Manfrotto operated with that. But then again, I really don't use that kind of glass to shoot outdoor vlog style videos. I tend to want to shoot something that's light, easy, and honestly, if it breaks, it's no big deal. So I hope that gives you guys a quick glance and you know what it's like kind of functioning outside. Now let's go to the final overall results and thoughts on this piece of tech. 
So after being outside with the man Frodo, goofing around with it, kind of seeing how it performs on different kind of environments, placing it, what's the stability in regards to, does the ball head allow for you to move around and still keep it a stable shot? And from what I can tell so far, with the GH5 or the GH series, I've come to find that it's pretty sturdy and it allows you to do time lapses, it allows you to film yourself, it also is a great option to go directly into vlog mode and for $17, it's something that I would recommend many of you guys out there, if you have the money, go out and purchase one because it's always a small item to kind of slide into your bag, maybe even on the side of your bag in your cup holder or whatever you may use. And, you know, it can come in handy. You could use it for a GoPro, you could use it for a cell phone, or you could use it like me for a vlog option. But I hope this video gave you guys a little bit of an insight in regards to the functionality of the $17 item. And hey guys, it's Trey Lowell with Lowell Productions. And as always, if you like the content that I keep creating, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this particular video, go ahead and hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Super simple. But for reals though, I mean, the Gorilla Pod's nice, but this this is just super quick and easy. Just too easy. I like it. It's a keeper.